To say I'm egotistical is so stereotypical. If I say I'm the shit, then maybe you could be my tissue roll. Like, I'm the shit. So, all these people who talking shit about me could be my tissue roll. I love that saying, and I'm going to live by that. I'm the shit, and all you people who talk shit about me, for no reason, when I'm not thinking about you, even though I do love the attention, you know, keep it, keep it, keep it coming, keep it coming. I want you to keep it coming, because I'm the shit. And, you know, all these people who are talking about me could be my tissue roll. And, you know, please let it be charming tissue, because I don't like that other stuff. This stuff in the bathroom be hurting and stuff. I like charming and soft stuff. Um... I wanted to just finish up this little talk with you guys. You know, the diary of Daryl Braxton is what I'm going to call this show. Um, you know, when I was younger and I used to hear about people who, you know, shot up the school and people who were shooting up their schools and people who were stabbing people in their schools and stuff like that. Like, I used to be like, I can't believe they did that. You know, I just can't believe they did that. But then when I read the stories about how these are people who were made fun of for years and years on, you know, years and years. And I think about how I've been made fun of for years and years. But you want to know what the difference between me and those people are? That I'm a sane person. I don't believe in violence at all. Um, I would never hurt a fly. Well, I do you know, kill flies and bugs and like that because I don't like them. But I would never hurt somebody intentionally, you know, e whether it be with words or whether it be with weapons. Like, I don't believe in that, you know. And lucky for everybody who I've ever known at in my whole school career and my whole life that I'm the same person because if I wasn't the same person, I believe that a long time ago, Daryl would be locked up for a lot of crazy reasons. And... You know, I just thank nobody but God that, you know, gave me the strength to endure all the shit that I've endured in my life, a short life, just to be strong enough to look past it like I'm doing now. I thank him for that. You know, I thank you for that, Lord. Uh, that was a little moment between me and my Lord and Savior. You know, we all have our different relationships with him. That's my relationship with him. He gives me the strength to look past ignorant people and he knows he knows my personality he knows who I am he knows everything about me so that's us maybe you should maybe try to get a relationship with him for yourself and maybe you'll feel better about yourself you know because you have you people have a lot of problems too and we're not going to get into that like I said this is a small campus of course but we're not going to get into that we're going to move on and what we're moving on to is Trey Day, October 17th, for the countdown. Trey Songs, Darrell Bitchy, keeping it real with Darrell Bitchy, YouTube.com slash Darrell Bitchy, Twitter.com slash D E E N I C E 20, Facebook, Darrell Braxton. Add me. Please add me. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to the show. Watch the show. In under a month, like I said, I'm almost to 2,000 total views, almost to 1,000 channel views, 18 subscribers, about 10 or 11 friends. I'm going, I'm coming, I'm coming. When I tell you that I'm going places, I mean that I am going places. Whether or not people hate me or love me, I'm going places. Nobody's going to stop me from achieving my goal in life, what I'm here what I've been put on earth to do. No one's going to stop me from doing that. And from now on, when I see people talking about me, and if I hear, you know, little comments and stuff like that, I'm just going to look at, look over at you, smile, wink, and wave, and keep going on with my life. Because while you're wasting your time talking about me, I'm making moves. And I'm not going to stop making moves until I ultimately get what I'm looking for. And now that, you know, my little working on something big plan is over, I'm working on something even bigger. So I'm going from one achievement to the next while you're still doing you. While you're still doing nothing. <laughs> what does that say about you? Maybe you should be, maybe you should want to be friends with a person like me. A friend, I wouldn't want to be 
have, I wouldn't want to even say enemies. I don't believe in having enemies, but I wouldn't want to not be friends with someone like me who can, you know, maybe help you out with yourself. Maybe show you the steps to achieving your dreams too, just like I'm achieving mine. Because I know you can only wish that you were experiencing some of the stuff that I'm experiencing. And when I start experiencing even bigger things, you're really going to wish that you were my friend. Because all those people who have been friendly to me, all those people who have been nice to me and, you know, cordial, they're the ones who are going to reap all the benefits of the benefits that I'm reaping while you're sitting back wishing that you could be at the BET Awards with me. While you're sitting back wishing you could be on my private yacht in San Jose. You know, that's how big I'm dreaming right now. Because if this is, if I'm able to say that this is possible and it happens, I'm able to say anything is possible. And it's going to happen. So, I mean, maybe you should just stop with all that stupid high school stuff. Act like we're adults in college. We could be friends. I don't have any grudges towards anybody who talks about me. I love you. I hope that you find what you're looking for in life while, you know, I'm finding everything that I need to find. And, you know, I just wish nothing but the best for you. And that's real. I'm, it might sound like I'm being sarcastic, but it's real. Um, you know, on to a brighter note, I want to give shout outs to all of my fans. Yes, I said fans. Um, all of my friends. All of my family, everybody who supports me in doing whatever I'm doing at whatever moment I'm doing it at. Thank you so much. I will say everybody's name, but that's a long list of people that I would need to thank. And we just don't have that much time on this The Royal Bitchy Show. You know. Um, let me see. What I'm going to do is keep you posted on what's going on with this meet and greet. What I'm going to do is probably give you a new show. Uh, pardon me sometime soon and what I'm going to do is keep on doing me that's the biggest thing that I'm going to do is me I'm going to keep doing me I'm going to keep giving you these shows I'm going to keep giving you everything you need I'm going to keep giving you your daily smiles I'm going to keep giving you I'm going to keep helping you go from a bad mood to a happy mood just from watching the 8 minute show. I'm going to keep you laughing. I'm going to keep you crying. I'm going to keep you everything. I'm going to evoke every emotion in your body until I reach the mountaintop. And trust me, I'm on my way. If you can't tell that by now, then you might want to go get some glasses. JC Penney's, $100. I'm coming. And... It's going to be a fun ride from now on, you know. It's going to be a fun, nothing but positivity around me, nothing but fun around me. If people are talking about me in a good way or in a bad way, I'm still just going to have fun with it. It's going to be fun. Um, this has been Daryl Braxton, Daryl Bitchy, you know, signing off on, you know, the diary of Daryl Braxton. Um, I hope you learned a little bit more about Daryl. Um, I hope you want to get to know Daryl. If you don't know me, I hope that you want to get to know me. If you see me somewhere, say what up. I'm going to be like, what up? And we're going to start probably adding each other on Facebook and becoming friends and all that. And you'll get to experience what everybody in my life who I love and who loves me experiences on a daily basis. Which is Daryl. Daryl. Everybody. Whatever. Whoever you want me to be, I'll be. <laughs> um, not like that, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, thank you. Um, I'll see you soon. I'm going to leave you right now with a little bit of, you know, the one and only Trey songs. I'm ready. I can't help but wait because I'm ready for Trey Day. You know, I just, you know, I got to make it to Trey Day because I'm ready. You know, I just promoted his all three of his albums. That's why I won because I knew all three of his albums. So, you know, I just got to make it. <sighs> just going to make it. Okay, anyway. So I'm leaving you a tray if it'll start. iTunes. iTunes. Are you hitting the motherfucker? Even when I'm choked on, I'm hotter than these other busters. They say I'm wrong for saying that. Well, shit, you wrong for saying that. I'm sipping dope, man. Bitch, you so petty. I'm so ready. Once had an awkward moment on the I wanted Middle finger, my opponents, baby girl, Yo, opponent. I really gotta leave y'all with this. Uh, and you, ooh, listen. To say I'm evil, to stick on, it's 
so stereotypical If I say I'm the shit, then maybe you could be my tissue roll